Hey everyone. I hope the lighting is okay. It is early evening as I'm recording this and so there is no sun right now. But I wanted to come on and share with you a fun game, or fun to me anyway, a fun game in which you can use tarot to play. And this is called, I have named it Tenacious Tarot Game because hashtag alliteration and also it was like the first thing that kind of came to mind. And this game is inspired by the memory-based card game called Bold. I have been in the last couple months just really like playing around. I, you know, when I'm not in the mood to give myself a reading, when I, I'm not looking to use my deck for divination or self-development, I just want to have some fun. Uh, this is kind of what I've been doing, just very casually. But then Halloween evening, as I was, you know, amusing myself and, um, you know, with the with cards, and I was just waiting around for the trick or treaters. I definitely geeked out, and I started making more formal rules for the game. I. I made a scoring system. I, at one point, combined two decks together to make the game longer and harder, which is not, it's not that challenging for me to make this game harder because my memory is shit. And it'll probably come off shittier as I give you this demo because I know I'm being recorded and everyone's going to watch this, so... That'll be great uh, for your entertainment and to my utter chagrin, but it's fine. So in terms of the rules, number of players, uh, solo, obviously, I've been playing this solitary the entire time, but you can add as many players as you want. Um, and in terms of decks, one at least, but you can combine, once again, I feel like as many as you want, uh, depending on how long you want the game to go and how hard you want it to be. How to play. So I've already shuffled my deck. I'm using uh, this smaller sized Notorious JBG Tarot just for the sake of room. You'll wanna make sure that you have plenty of room to play this. So either one deck or more than one. If you're using more than one, you are shuffling them together. Um, and, you know, when you clear cards out as you play, you can always reorganize them into their respective piles. But um, I'm just going to stick with one. And I have laid the cards face down in three rows of four. But again, you can make it more difficult by laying down even more cards. You know, uh, a larger arrangement of say five rows of four, it's up to you. So I am playing as a solitary player. And so what I'm gonna do is, I am going to flip the first card over. So I have the three of pentacles and then I will just flip another card over here. Ah, so we have a match here. We have pentacles. So basically what it comes down to is this match uh, corresponds to one of the following options in which you have a successful match. So this would be suits. Another way that you would have a successful match is through major arcana. So say you pull like the full card and the sun card. Also by number. So for instance, if this were a 10 of swords and 10 of pentacles, that would be fine. Or say you have ace of wands and 
magician, that would also work as well because the number attributed to the magician is one. Same with say something like nine of cups and the moon card because uh, the moon number 18 in the deck, if you drill down that double digit number by adding the two together, one plus eight, that would equal nine. So that counts as well. And then again, here is the pair that is matching suit. And another, well, the final, the final option would be court rank. So say this were page of pentacles and page of wands, that would count. Um, I will have like instructions written down and available for you, but that is the gist of it. Okay, now with this initial match, that would be two points. I can either claim this or I could be tenacious and try for yet another match to make a three card match, which would give me more points. So say that, okay, I am going to, well, actually, no, you know what? Let's, let's save that. So I'm going to keep this. This is my, you know, initial draw. I'm just going to stop here and keep these points. So this is two points for just an initial one pair match and you'll want to make note and write this down so two okay now with the empty slots you take your deck and you fill them accordingly with new cards now if you are playing solo you cannot and okay so say you are playing solo, you lost, you did not make any match, and you flip have to flip those cards over. The next round that you do as the solo player, you cannot flip an, your initial first card um, using any of the previous cards from the last round. So I know that might sound confusing. Let me let me just continue to demonstrate. So okay, let's try. Okay, we got two of wands. Okay, and we have the sun. So nine plus one is 10 and 10 and two. So no match in terms of number, no match in terms of, you know, major to major or suit or rank of court. So I'm gonna have to turn these over. Now, with an initial flip like this, if you have an unsuccessful match, you don't get any points deducted. It is fine. So this next new round that I'm doing, I cannot make my first flip either of those, either of these two cards from the previous round. Uh, it's just to make it harder as a solitary player. Now, if you have more than one person playing, that person going next can certainly choose any card they want or not. It's up to you. Okay, so I cannot choose these two cards. Let's go with this one. So four of pentacles and four of wands. So we've got two numbers. Um, do I want to, so do I wanna take the chance? Do I wanna be tenacious and try to go for another card that would have the number four? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just going to keep that and have my additional two points. I'm going to refill these slots and let's go again. Judgment, okay. And I have the sun, two majors. Let's just try for, let's just try for another major, shall we? Um, okay, so I tried for a match with three cards. I failed. So does that mean that I keep the two points here? No. If you have an unsuccessful match, you have to turn all the cards over 
and actually you get a deduction of three points for a failed three card match. So that is minus three. Okay, now again, with this next with this next round, I cannot flip over any of the previous cards for my first initial cho choice. So I'm gonna go with ah, so the hermit. Now the all the cards are now fair play. It's just that first initial. So the sun and oh shit, where was it? Oh no, was it wait? Oh shit, um, this one. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's another negative three. God, I'm already sucking at this. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So this was not a card that I had chosen in the previous round, but so I have three majors right here. So a three card match. And I am not going to go any further. Now, if you wanted, you could. You could try for a four card match, a five card match, um, which would garner more points. But I am not going to be that brave. I am going to uh, keep my three card match. And this results in five points. <clears throat> okay. Now. Alrighty, so we have Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, no match, okay, the Hierophant, um, let's do this one, Ace of Pentacles, still no match, but I'm not losing any points because this is the initial attempt of each round. Let's do this one. Ace of Cups. Oh, wait, I just saw a cup. Wait, did I? Um, all right, so we've got a match with the suits. Do I want to take the chance? Um, why not? Because this is just for demo's sake. Nope. Okay, so that is a minus three or uh, minus five. Okay, so let us do Ace of Swords. I don't know. Did I see a Swords at some point somewhere else? No, I should have known. I have seen this one before. Okay. <sighs> ah, Five of Swords. Ace of Swords. Shall I try to be tenacious here, people? Mm. Oh, fuck. I knew. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swear, but I should have known. See how bad I am at this. Okay. Aha. Yes. Do I want to go for four? Because if I had a four card match, that would be 10 points. Five card match would be 25. I have never gotten past a four, a four card match before. No, I'm just, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna keep my five points. Okay. The sun. Did I see a, a major somewhere? No. Okay. Sun and swords. Oh, justice. Okay. Sun, justice. We have a major's match. No, I don't. I'm just going to take my two points. And we fill the 
slots. Okay. Eight of cups. Okay, I knew that was there. Okay, no match in terms of number, suit. Four of Swords. Wait, what's there? No. Five of Cups. Okay. But I have an Eight of Cups. Five of Cups. Do I want to take a risk? No. I should remember that this is the Two of Wands because how many times have I effing flipped it over? <sighs> Oh, swords. Wait. Oh, I saw a sword somewhere. Oh. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna keep those two points. Okay. The moon. Oh, 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 wait, this one, oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay, this one, okay, okay. So we've got majors. Was there another majors? Just gonna keep it. I'm just not feeling really confident right now. Peoples, I'm just not feeling very confident. Okay, um, let's do this one. Nine of cups. Oopsies, five of pentacles. Okay, so no match there. Nine and five. Ah, five and five. So there's a match. Do I want to take a risk? No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. All right. Um, chariot. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords. All right, so I've got a match in terms of number. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe try to be a little tenacious here. Knight of Swords. So alas, I do not have a match. <sighs> that would be okay. What cards haven't I flipped over yet? Ace of Cups. Oh wait, wait. I'm sure some of you are screaming at the monitor or your phone or whatever you're watching. Yes. Okay. Got a match of aces. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna claim those. Um, actually, let's turn this over. So page of pentacles. Ten of Swords. Ah, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Let me, shall I? Oh, fuck you, man. I should know better. I should know better. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to this. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, 
Um, two of Cups. Ace of Wands. Wasn't there a wand somewhere? This one? No. No, there wasn't. Okay. Got this. Cups. I just... Wait. What did I... Oh, wait. Uh, was it this one? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so mortifying. Okay. Two of Wands. I just saw... Didn't I just see a Wands? Oh. Thank you, sweet baby Moses. Okay, so how long have I been doing this? Okay, a good 20 minutes. So you get the gist here, right? So um, I'm trying to think of any other combinations that I haven't shown. So let's see. Um, like the Knight of Swords. No knights. Okay, well, so say, you know, I pulled the, the Knight of Swords, I flipped that over, and there was um, a Knight of Pentacles, then that would be a, a matching court ranking, so that would give me two points. Now, if I went on and then also flipped over the Knight of Cups, then that would be five points, etc. So that is pretty much the gist of this game. Now... At the end, you will have, likely, you will have a few cards left over where you cannot make any match. And that just pretty much signals that the game is over. And that is pretty much it. So I, I don't know, I hope this is fun for somebody. I think it's a, a pretty simple game. There is another game that I know of called Queens of Fate, and I will try to leave, I'll try to remember to leave a link to Lisa Pepez's demo, because that's a fun one. It's a little more involved. It's, it's basically solitaire uh, f with the tarot cards. And it, so it's a little more, I want to say, involved. There are more rules to know, but it is definitely a fun game for you solitaire lovers. But... In any case, let me know if you try this game out and do a much better job than I have. And yeah, enjoy. I will see you in the next video. Much love and take care.